Welcome everybody to Extreme Off-Road Silly Bills and today we're dealing with the 1997 Land Rover Defender 90. Now this has a 955 horsepower, 817 pounds feet of torque from a 6.5 litre supercharged V8 engine and the car itself weighs 3,095 pounds. It's got off-road suspension, all-wheel drive and off-road tires and it can do 0 to 16 3.795 seconds, 0 to 107.043 seconds and going to a top speed of 186 miles an hour. So uh, yeah, we had the uh, older Land Rover uh, Series 3 on this series not long ago, and that put in a uh, okay time of 2 minutes 6 seconds point two nine three. Though this car is obviously about 25 years newer than that car, but obviously some of this car is still uh, you know relatable back to those old cars. But uh, being a slightly newer car, it should hopefully uh, perform a little bit better, and it's got plenty of power. It's certainly got the off-road capability, it shouldn't have too much issues with the water. So uh, yeah, there's a lot going for this car, but we've been uh, disappointed before with other vehicles that have potential. So uh, yeah, let's not get our hopes up too uh, quickly, so let's uh, see what it can do. So we've got all the off-road paraphernalia on the car. Not necessarily going to make it go any quicker, but I think it looks cool like that. Let's just hope that it doesn't make it too top heavy. It's rolling about a bit so far. No issues besides that. Whoa, a bit of oversteer there. Apologise for that. Let's keep it in the water. Yeah, it's all right going for the water there. All poor uh, exit out of the water there. Can we hit that tree? Yeah, like it's, like I predicted, it's dealing well with the water really well. Dealing with the water really well. Sorry, and. Uh, that's obviously good. It's got a good high ride height and uh, solid enough amount of power to push through. Does feel a little bit on the uh, wayward side though. Body is rocking and rolling around. Oh dear! Oh dear! Can we land it? Yeah. <laughs> we'll just leave that. I feel like I'd have to go far back for all that to uh, prevent that roll again. suspension on this car is not liking all these bumps and jumps. You can actually get through the water uh, quicker than the uh, original car's top speed. You can only do about 106 mile an hour. And, uh, for the most part, you can do that through the water. Well, that's a solid time, but uh, con especially considering the issues it had with the rollover and the uh, wayward suspension, but a time of 2 minutes 10 seconds, 0.765, is actually uh, way behind the 25-year-old uh, Land Rover Series 3. So, uh, yeah, to be behind that and also behind the uh, behind the lights of the uh, Ferrari 166 double M Barquetta, the Ford Bronco, which is a uh, car that it's... Uh, older uh, car was against at the time and the Lamborghini Centenario is not that good but it is ahead of the uh, Talbot Sunbeam Lotus and the uh, Bath Fiat 131 and the BMW M2 Coupe but yeah not a great time compared to uh, this older car that is on the game as well and uh, other off-roaders as well so uh, yeah even though it's a good time for the fact that it rolled over and it was a little bit on the wayward side had oversteer issues as well uh, yeah it's hard not to be disappointed when it's got all the, uh, you know, ex expectation and the uh, and abilities that it has uh, for putting in a poor time. Because obviously it was capable for the water. It's got that high ride height. It's got the all-wheel drive. It's got the off-road capabilities standard. But with all that extra power and the extra speed, it just seems to be uh, not able to handle it. So uh, yeah, it is a shame. But that's just the way it goes sometimes. 
So, uh, yeah. I'm just surprised how far behind it is uh, that Land Rover Series 3. Because I think it's about... Uh, yeah, it's more than four. It's about four and a half seconds behind that Land Rover Series 3, which is a great shame. But I guess it just shows that older cars aren't necessarily going to be the slower ones compared to their newer brethren. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.